yes uh, the next question on isometric view draw the isometric view of hexagonal prism of base side 30 mm and axis 70 the prism is resting on its base on the hp with an edge of the base is parallel to the vp yes see here so first you need to identify the shape of the diagram the shape of the diagram equal to uh, hexagonal prism okay so after that you need to identify the the side of hexagonal okay that means uh, uh, size of the hexagonal side then side equal to uh, how much 30 mm given in this question 30 mm given okay and uh, so after that you need to identify the axis that means complete the height of the uh, hexagonal prism that means 70 mm 70 mm is resting on its base on the hp okay so after that you need to identify the okay so the position of the hexagonal prism that means position means are uh, resting on our uh, hp or the hexagonal is resting on a uh, vp okay so uh, that one is very important okay so in this case you need to identify the resting on hp or resting on vp clear okay so in this question the base is on the hp okay so please see this diagram this is the completely base this base is on the hp that means the base is resting on the hp that means horizontal plane okay this is the position for this question that means for the uh, for that sentence okay so in case the base is on the vp given so at that time so how to uh, draw hexagonal shape very simple the base is on the hp means standing position the base is on the vp means sleeping position sleeping position means like this horizontal position horizontal position of the hexagonal prism that is the uh, that position is uh, known as or uh, the position is uh, the base is on the vp sleeping position or horizontal position okay so this uh, for this case for this case okay the base is on the hp for this case the base is on the hp clear sometimes they will give instead of the base is on the hp okay the axis is the axis is axis means center line of the prism the axis is perpendicular to the vp okay so the axis is perpendicular to the vp or the base is on the hp for both the cases okay so draw in vertical position in vertical position that means this is the position this is the position okay sometimes they will give instead of the base is on the vp that means sleeping position or horizontal position okay the axis is perpendicular to the vp so the axis is perpendicular to the vp means okay the hexagonal prism okay so horizontal to the vertical plane clear these two are very important simply they will give the basis on the vp the basis on the hp and uh, the axis is perpendicular to the vp and the axis is perpendicular to the hp okay so these four terms are very important for uh, semester examination okay so please tell me the position of this uh, hexagonal prism the base is on the hp or the axis is perpendicular to the hp the next is uh, please see, uh, read the next sentence with an edge of the uh, base is parallel to the vp so please consider this is the side or edge this edge is parallel to the vp parallel to the vp yes the position of the diagram is depends upon these two sentences first sentence is uh, the pre, uh, prism of its base is on the HP. The next sentence is the edge is parallel to the VP. Edge is parallel to the VP. So these two sentences are very important. Okay. So uh, before going to start the uh, diagram, just you need to identify the given data. Okay. So for this case, draw the isometric view. This is a three-dimensional diagram. Okay. So how to draw the uh, isometric view for prisms? Very simple. So draw. A front view and top view of this diagram the front view of the diagram is a rectangular shape okay so the top view of the diagram is uh, hexagonal shape okay so very simple so first first of all draw the shape of the diagram that means hexagonal shape okay so with 30 mm side 
so after that draw the uh, front view of the uh, diagrams front view of the prism the front view of the prism is a rectangular shape this is the front view okay sometimes uh, you need not to be draw this front view so you can draw this directly uh, hexagonal shape hexagonal shape and draw the isometric view very easily okay so this is the uh, theoretical uh, uh, procedure okay clear so first you, you have to draw the hexagonal shape so after after that draw the uh, isometric view okay so then yes see here so first you have to draw this so top view of the uh, hexagonal prism okay yes so choose polygon command enter or type 6 press enter so choose edge the edge option available in your command box okay and uh, select uh, anywhere on your screen and uh, after that so give the dimension that means side of the hexagonal shape so side of the hexagonal shape is 30 yes this is the hexagonal so after completion of this hexagonal shape so draw or make a box outside of the hexagonal shape for manual drawing as well as uh, for auto autocad okay yes draw like this yes after that so remove the unnecessary lines that means extra portions by using trim command in autocad software by using trim command in autocad software okay yes then so measure the uh, side of the hexagonal shape then uh, already we know that side equal to how much so 30 okay so after that give the notations please give the capital letters for uh, orthographic uh, diagram that means 2d diagram yes a this is the top view of the prism b and uh, c and uh, this point is d and uh, this point is e f yes this point is g h i j okay so a b c d e f uh, e f g h i j okay so first of all uh, draw the so top view of this diagram so top view of this diagram in isometric uh, procedure okay so uh, after completion of this top view so draw the so front view of this uh, diagram okay so very easy so draw one horizontal line draw one horizontal line so after that activate the iso drafting tool activate the iso drafting tool okay so choose line command okay so draw a b line a b line 30 degrees to the horizontal line so before going to draw a b line so please uh, take a one reference point the reference point is a okay so use small letters for isometric view use a small letters for isometric view okay so first you have to draw a b c d box so after that so locate the points or mark to the points e f on a b line g on b c line c d on h i line and j point a d line okay but how to locate and how to draw this a b b c c d and a d line okay so we don't know the a b dimension so that measure the a b line distance for manual as well as uh, uh, in autocad software okay so the a b length equal to 60 and uh, this a d or uh, b c length equal to 51.96 okay so please take a reference point uh, one reference point on horizontal line either a or b so now i am taking point a is a reference point on a horizontal line so after that so draw the a b line draw the a b line 30 degrees to the horizontal line okay then a b equal how much 60 just simply type 60 okay and draw the uh, b c line okay so how, how to rotate or how to change the direction of this uh, line just uh, simply uh, press f5 if you want change the 
direction of this uh, cursor or line okay so simply press f5 okay yes bc equal how much 51.96 so please draw the all lines 30 degrees to the horizontal line okay so don't draw a vertical line because of this is the top view this is the top view okay yes the next uh, bc completed so after that draw the cd then cd equal to uh, 60 and again draw the da line then da equal to how much 51.96 okay so for uh, top view positions draw the square box uh, like this like sim uh, simply uh, uh, like rhombus but this is a not rhombus okay so draw all the lines inclined inclined to the horizontal line okay so for uh, front view so draw the uh, lines uh, this line in vertical position okay okay so please remember this point so draw the uh, inclined lines for top view inclined lines for top view this is the top view of the hexagonal prism this is the point a and uh, so mark the or uh, take the point uh, b and this is the point c and uh, this point is d a b c d okay after that so mark the point e f on a b line please uh, uh, locate the points very carefully but how to locate the points okay for manual drawing so take a e distance by using compass and uh, with the same distance uh, mark the uh, point e or locate the point e on a b line okay so in autocad software very simple so please take a e uh, radius uh, sorry draw a circle with a e radius a as a center very simple a as a center so after that select this one okay move the circle capital a to small a capital a to small a so again choose center radius b as a center and b to f is the radius and draw the circle and select the circle and move the circle so capital b point to small b after that mark the points by using uh, multiple points okay so that option available okay so in draw okay yes choose multiple points so this is the point e and this point is uh, f okay so b point and e point completed so after that so delete these two circles okay so again take a center radius b2 mark the g point okay for g point take b to g radius select this circle and move the circle capital b to small b yes next to uh, mark the point uh, on bc line okay so this point is g so again just follow the same procedure for uh, remaining points also so take a c to h uh, radius circle and uh, so move the circle b to f again again draw a circle with d to i radius and select the circle and uh, so move the circle capital d to small d okay and uh, so take multiple points and locate the or mark the points okay h i completed so delete the circle and delete the circle so last one is the j so choose center radius take d to j radius and draw a circle select this point and move the circle capital d to small d okay. select the circle okay yes capital d to small d and uh, so locate the point by using multiple points okay so after that delete the circle okay so very simple so the marking of a points completed so after that so join all these points by using line command by using line command yes completed yes so for prisms so top and bottom portions uh, having top and bottom portions are same okay so top and bottom portions are same so that you need to draw the uh, a same hexagonal shape at the top of the at the top of the prism see here so please see this diagram yes top and bottom portions are same okay so very simple in AutoCAD software select select you see the processor carefully yes select 
so select the object or select this uh, diagram very simple choose copy command and choose any corner a or b or c or d point okay so just move your cursor like this okay yes just type height then height equal how much 70 uh, given press enter so after that again press enter completed yes delete uh, this horizontal line okay so instead of d please take d1 instead of c so please take c1 otherwise uh, take a uh, uh, one two three four also no problem b1 c1 b1 c1 okay so remaining points are e f g h i j e1 okay uh, then e1 f1 uh, g1 h1 i1 j1 okay so after completion of this one so join corresponding points so join corresponding points means d2 d1 b2 b1 b2 b1 okay yes the next one is the next one is uh, c2 c1 c2 c1 a2 a1 completed okay so after that so draw the hexagonal shape corresponding points this point is uh, g point okay yes e point f point g point so just join the corresponding points that's enough so join the corresponding points so this is the complete diagram of uh, hexagonal prism that means isometric view of hexagonal prism so after that so measure the angle between these two lines 30 so again measure the angle between these two lines 30 okay yes after that uh, draw the hidden lines also see uh, this one and this line and this line and this line and these lines are hidden lines hidden lines so choose these properties choose uh, this uh, type of line and choose hidden line choose hidden lines okay so after that select this hexagonal prism select this hexagonal prism and increase the line weight by using this bilayer yes okay see here so it's not coming so for this case very simple type lw display lw display press enter so after that type on on yes completed see so this is the uh, complete uh, hexagonal hexagonal prism of isometric view hexagonal prism of isometric view okay